My name's Chris Holbert. I'm, a, I guess, a writer, director, producer, although I still consider myself aspiring. Uh, until you're paying your rent by those things, I, I don't think it's fair to, to call yourself one of those things. It's, uh, I don't know, I, I consider it disrespectful to the people who are actually doing those things. There's way too many people in this town who say they are those things and really don't do anything to earn it and it make the rest of us look bad. So that's my kind of feelings on being a writer, director, producer. But I have a production company. I've made a film and it's in distribution. The film is called The Perfect House. My production company is called Gratwick Films. And I believe in social filmmaking. I believe in sharing the process of making the film while we make the film and offering entertaining free content to go along with the film, creating a bigger story and greater value. Uh, we're getting ready to make our next film, Just Drive, and we're going to share that whole process. But I think before, before I do, it would be best to start at the beginning on who I am and how I got to this point. Uh, I moved to Los Angeles from Buffalo about six years ago and made it out here for the first year as a professional poker player. Uh, it was pretty much like an extended vacation. It was always, when's the dream going to end and I'm going to have to move back to Buffalo. And eventually, I was still here and got a job. My buddy worked at Warner Brothers and through a temp agency, I got a desk job at Warner Brothers. I worked in the payment processing department for a little over a year, and during that time, I spent most of my lunch breaks and free times wandering around the Warner Brothers lot, uh, seeing the magic happen, I guess. And it was there that it really kind of struck me that creating and telling stories was a real career opportunity. I mean, it, it existed in Buffalo. You don't even think that, I mean, you might want to do it for fun or whatever, but you don't think about the fact that you can make a career out of it, that it's real. And watching it happen before my eyes inspired me. And I'd start writing scripts and stuff at my desk. And eventually that led to wanting to make stuff. And I realized I could do it and I could probably be good at it, but it wasn't until the economy fell out in 2008 that I got laid off from my department at Warner Brothers. The, the whole payment processing got shipped overseas. So we used the time and the limited financial stability that I had to try and make a movie. Well, I guess it wasn't try. We actually did make the movie. It was a roller coaster from start to finish. It, we made it up as we went along. We thought it was just going to be some small movie that we'd make, learning and taking the next step while uh, we looked for, for jobs and stuff. And it, it snowballed. It became the experience of a lifetime in many good ways and many bad ways. And ironically, came all the way out to L.A. to get away from the snow and find opportunity. And we end up going right back to Buffalo to make the movie. So we shot it there, brought it all the way back to Los Angeles. Learned all about distribution, uh, the industry, the shady side. Uh, people who say they're producers and not producers. Uh, people who join projects and then bail on projects once they're done and the resume has been fluffed and all the other good stuff that comes with the, the stereotypes of the entertainment industry. It was a hard knocks lesson. And that brought me to where I am now. Uh, now I pick oranges out of my front yard and work towards making our next movie, Just Drive. I think the biggest thing I, I, I learned during the past five years, six years that I've been out here is that if you're, you're waiting around or expecting the creativity and the opportunities to come from being on set and shooting films and all of that stuff, I think you have to look beyond that regardless of, of who you are or, or what you're doing, because it, the biggest discovery I had was how little time is actually in the creative aspect. We're in the creative aspect in regards to actually on set shooting a movie, actually writing a script. If, if you're not waiting around for somebody else to say, yeah, you can give me your script or yeah, you can make a movie. Here's all the money. If you're actually trying to do those things and, and seize the moment for yourself, 
there's all the little things that come with it all the mundane details all the copy you gotta write all the photos you gotta make all this annoying administrative details and it's there where it's either going to consume you and you're going to find yourself angry that you're spending so much time doing i guess bullshit compared to what you really want to be doing which is on set making movies writing scripts i mean i could be i could spend the rest of my life writing scripts every single day and never fulfill all the ideas i have written down already let alone the ones i come up with constantly and yet i never can justify sitting down and spending time writing scripts because it's not a viable use of the time right now to help myself and other people achieve a level of sustainability. So that all gets put on hold. It's creative creativity that I love, but it's not serving the greater good at this moment in time because who knows how long it'll take to get to the, the scripts I haven't written yet, let alone all the ones I have. So I've learned to find peace and creativity in the little details in the building of the company in all the mundane things that are done on the day-to-day basis and sharing that content is a way to hold myself account- accountable to doing those things and making sure they get done and man I say and a lot the key the key to sanity in surviving and growing out here for me has been finding a way to enjoy being creative with the administrative and mun details. If not for finding creative enjoyment in that, I would have been consumed by the resentment and frustration of all the things you have to do, the 95% of the time it takes to get to that 5% of the time. For me, that's the biggest thing I've learned along the way. And it's, it's helped me find an inner peace that's allowed my creativity and my passion to be more focused and harnessed. And hopefully it will help you too. Um, right now, what we got going on for this week is we're still getting ready for our big February 4th release of my plan for social filmmaking. Uh, Gratwick Films has come up with their own business model that we believe can help everybody make independent films and give you an opportunity to kind of control the destiny and do it from start to finish yourself. We believe if you follow the business model, you put together a great team, we can all make some great movies and the level of content will go up for everybody. That's our goal. That's what we're working towards. And that's really going to be what I'm going to be sharing the experiences of trying to make that happen in this vlog series. So it'll get better. Can't promise I won't ramble as much, but, uh, Vlog one, done.